Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm running late. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna put these in my house. Okay. Yeah. So, how was your dinner? It was really good. What did we do? We went out for dinner and then we had some cake and we had presents. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, can I repeat? So we went for dinner and we opened up presents and had cake. And now Christian and I are leaving each other for four whole days. I'm going off to Los Angeles. We're going separate ways. <laughs> no pumpkin, pumpkin. Tonight we celebrated Laura's fake birthday. Yeah. Because she's not actually 24 yet. Don't tell me how old I am. They're going to think I'm old. I'll put in a beep. I'll sense it. <laughs> I'll censor the noise. Uh, guys. But yeah, we went for Laura's birthday tonight. Yeah. And it was really nice. Yeah. I'm going to miss you, Snuggle Pookums. I know. <laughs> See you in four days. Bye, Squish. I miss you already. See you in Panama. This is the lightest I have packed in ages. What's up guys, so we are now at the airport and I'm meeting with Blake. So if you guys watched the vlog where we went on the helicopter, I already told you guys that we're meeting up with Blake and we're going to Panama. I've never been, I've never been Central America and so this is like a really big step for me. I almost feel like this was like a sobering event where right now I'm trying to vlog with the A7S II and it's kind of heavy, but uh, it was a sobering event for me because I've put myself in the shoes of you guys. Like when you ask me these questions like, oh, is it safe going to Thailand is it safe going to the Philippines and I'm like always like oh of course it's safe but for me I feel the same way in Panama people being like make sure you're careful when you're there blah 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 so like I'm kind of like a bit on edge but I'm sure it's gonna be fine at the end of the day and I'm really excited it's gonna be warm and I just need a bit of sunshine some islands some tropical vibes and I'm just really excited guys we're gonna be seeing something totally new this here is the Vancouver International Airport International Terminal and it's beautiful this airport is actually like one of the top rated in the entire world. Uh, it doesn't beat Singapore's. Singapore's airport is the best, but it's a good one. Hidden behind a tree lies a wild lake. You ready? Oh, yeah. Look how light we're traveling too. I've never been able to pack all my stuff in one suitcase. I, I felt like I was missing something. There's been a couple of technological advances in my gear kit and it's making my life so much easier. Uh, the new Mavic, so the drone is literally, instead of taking up half my bag, it's like the size of one of my camera lenses, which is mind-blowing. And then I also have a Steadicam now, which is electronic. I was using like that massive manual one that went off weights and that thing took up like, that was the reason I carried a massive suitcase around. So. Just like, it's improved my life for the better. We threw. This is how you know you've arrived in Mexico City. Hola, senor. Bienvenido a Mexico City. All right, so this is not Thailand, but we're gonna give it a shot. So massive disappointment on 7-Eleven. It is not like Thailand. They don't got no toasties and they don't have air conditioning. It was like twice as hot in there, but hopefully Subway won't let us down. Our final flight before arriving at Panama City. I'm so stoked right now. But I just want to be there. We've got another four hours on the plane. In total, it's going to be like close to 14 hours of travel, which isn't so bad considering that's like a perfect run going to Asia. All right, guys, so we've arrived in Panama and uh, I pretty much slept through the entire last leg of the race, which is good because like, I feel pretty well rested now. And we're here, it's 2 p.m. Um, I had a little sunset. I just had, as I was getting off the plane, uh, maybe three seats in front of me. This guy puts on his vest. And by the way, the vest was a, like a replica of a suicide bomber's vest. Like, he definitely wasn't wearing it for fashion. Even if he was wearing it for fashion, he totally failed on that part. But it was front and back, like those individual pouches lined on front of the vest. It was called a wanted vest. All I can say is that guy is a total a-hole. His goal is clearly only to get attention and uh, shouldn't be allowed on the plane to be honest, but we made it safely and uh, now we're in Panama, so let's do it. Hey, my fans are here. What's up guys? All right, so this is the Panama airport. It reminds me a lot of Mexico. Um, it's kind of like rugged looking. There's lots of construction going on inside and outside of the airport. One thing that you can expect is as soon as you like get outside of the airport, you'll be bombarded by people just like in Thailand being like, oh, taxi, taxi, and people are trying to sell you SIM cards. It's $30 to get into town US. A SIM card for seven days is $30 US. So hopefully it's cheaper in town. 
We found a random dude and he's gonna drive us in. So I don't think we have a taxi. I just found a guy that looked trustworthy. He had a good face and I was like, hey, you going into Panama? And so he's charging us 25 US to get into Panama City. Uh, in the old town is where I've been recommended to go. Uh, yeah, I feel so lost. This is exactly how I felt when I got to Bangkok for the first time. It's just like, it's a bit overwhelming because people are trying to like make money off you and you're like trying to save your money. You're also trying to figure out where you want to go. And I didn't book anything, like I don't have a hotel. I don't really know what's good in Panama City, but it's all gonna work out, it always does. And uh, we're gonna get lost. just told us that's Trump Tower over there. Right there is the Hard Rock Hotel. And here comes the traffic. Apparently traffic in Panama City is really bad. Hi! Aloha! Welcome to Panama. So, this is like really cool for me right now. We're going through this one-way street. It's been a long travel day, and this is definitely what I hoped for. I feel very like comfortable in this area. We haven't ventured outside of Old Town yet, but we'll do a bit more exploring of Panama. What I really want to do is I want to find one of those tall skyscrapers that we saw on the way in, and I want to climb up one of them. There's a lot of abandoned buildings here, and I think it'd be really cool if we found one that we could just like go up the staircase and uh, get all the way to the top and get some cool photos and videos. Kind of like a Bangkok ghost tower kind of situation. So there's also lots of police officers enforcing this area. I think it's because travelers come here and they don't want any problems. Yeah, there's been police officers at every corner. And look at that beautiful church, the Iglesia. Look at this beautiful little square. It kind of reminds me of like little Parisian feel. Hello! <laughs> uh, this is everything I wanted and more. Right now we're going to check out what I think is the beach, although this seems like a dead end lake. Right now I'm trying to vlog with this camera. I need a handle on it because I'm just holding it by the lens and like I feel like it's really unstable and it's also really tough to like turn it around. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like the quality difference? This is the internal microphone on the a7s2 which is actually quite good. Uh, I don't have like an external mic attached. All right, we found the beach. Blake, look at that. Come get your tan on. Head on down there. Oh boy. Do you remember me? I'm the girl whose heart you stole. I don't want it back, please. You can keep it. Guys, this is so amazing. Like, this is why I travel. I love finding these moments when you just come to a new place and you just experience it. And like right now, yeah, we've just scratched the surface, but there's so much more to be seen here. We're gonna be here for like 10 days. Um, and this is the definition of getting lost. Like we literally had a ticket, we had nothing else. We're gonna go meet with a local person tonight who actually contacted me on Instagram. He's from Panama City and uh, he's gonna tell us kind of like how we can make the most of our time here. We really wanna check out two sets of islands, but we only have time to do one. So we have to pick and decide which one we'll come back for another time. Cause I do plan to come to Panama at least twice. And uh, San Blas Islands is kind of the one I'm thinking, but then there's also Boca del Torre. So we'll see which one we go with. And if you guys didn't already know, Blake is a videographer. That's what he does for a living. And so if you wanna check out his work, I'll have a link down below. Blake is actually the one who came to Thailand with me to film Black Tusk, and that video should be done. Blake, how far along is Black Tusk? 90%. So we got another 10%, and then it will be live for you guys to see. It's gonna be put on YouTube. Really excited to share it with you guys. And uh, most of all, I'm excited to see what it does because like the purpose behind it wasn't just to be entertainment value, it was actually to create social change. And that will be the exciting part to see, does it actually impact the way uh, the tourism industry coexists with the elephants in Thailand and Southeast Asia. 
and welcome to the bachelor pad. This is what you get for 40 US dollars plus another four dollars in hotel taxes. So yeah, basically like 44 US and 65 Canadian. It's very, very modest. <laughs> you know, it's no Bangkok. If, if you spend this amount of money in Thailand, and I know I keep comparing to Thailand, but it's cause like, that's where I call my travel home. Like when I travel a lot, I go to Thailand. So I compare that to Thai prices. This is not very good value compared to Thailand, but we're not in Thailand. All right, here's our Uber. Hello. Or no, not hola, not a hello. I don't know Spanish. I speak French, but I don't speak any Spanish. And I just said hello instead of hola. Ah, yes, Christian. And you are Jaffe? Yes. So right now we are off to meet with Eduardo, and we actually just met Eduardo through Instagram. And so he's offered to show us around. He's told us to meet him at this craft beer place where we get some of the best Panamanian beers. Uber got us here for like four dollars. And this is where we're going, La Rana Dorada. La Rana Dorada, it's got like this little frog logo. And here's the problem, let's see. There are one, two, three, four locations. And I didn't realize that when Eduardo told me to meet him at Lana Dorada, I just took the first one on Google Maps and he's at a different one. So he's actually gonna come to us. It's only gonna take him like 15 minutes. But in the meantime, some Blanche beer. This is Eduardo. He reached out on Instagram. He watched the helicopter video and that's how he saw that I was in Panama. This is like definitely a city that I could live in just based on my first initial six hours here. Like I say that about a few places, Bangkok, Bali, now Panama City. I know there's a lot of places I could live and this is definitely one of them. Hola. Uh, yes, Christian. And you are Jaffe? Yes. Yeah. Ask the clubs, bad boy, that's what's up. Ask the bucks, crush crew. All right, so we're now in this random little pub. These beers right here, 250 American, so that's like three and 25 cents Canadian. Pretty cheap. So we're back at our room. Basically, it's Satan's closet. The power has gone out, and it's like, oh, I don't even. Gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna try to find out how much longer till the power comes back and get us some water. I just found out that they do not have power until 6 a.m. So they turn off power at night, obviously to conserve it. But oh my gosh, we have no windows, so we're like in the middle of the hotel. Our room is boiling hot. I'm not going back to the room until it's six, which is in like 25 minutes. All right, guys. So the entire hotel is in darkness, and I went downstairs, down four flights of stairs, like through the dark, dark hotel. It's kind of creepy. Turns out the power turns off every night until 6 a.m. So it's obviously like some sort of effort to conserve energy. I didn't know that when I booked this hotel. For a 44 U.S. dollar a night hotel, I definitely didn't expect that. Um, but anyways. Good piece of insight for you if you come to Panama. Make sure they don't turn off power in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been an awesome first night in Panama City. And I'm super excited to show you guys the Panama Canal tomorrow. All right guys, let's get lost again tomorrow. And leave the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Fun of the day.